Hey, what's going on? It's me again. Here with another lighting-related video. That wonderful blue-green hue is coming from a clear mercury vapor lamp. And that's why I'm coming to you right now, because NEMA has drafted a proposal to... It, they've already banned mercury vapor ballasts and fixtures. The bulbs are currently still legal. However, they want to ban the bulbs by 2016, which would force us to remove a lot of working mercury vapor fixtures. And this is unacceptable to me. So I've, I've written up an article and petition to help counteract that. I will provide a link in the annotations as well as a link to NEMA's proposal. And you can go there to my article, read it, and sign the petition. Anyways, people freak out when they hear the word mercury. Guess what? There's mercury in metal halide, high-pressure sodium, and fluorescent, and even induction lamps. So, pretty much all lighting sources except for LEDs and incandescent habits, so you can't win. And two, despite the fact that they're supposedly the least efficient HID lamp, they're still more than twice as efficient as an incandescent lamp and more efficient than, than a fluorescent by slightly. So, they're still pretty green, not to mention the light they produce is actually green. Also, Let's not forget that unique spectrum. It provides a unique effect in landscaping. Here's a, a holly leaf. Look at how it makes that green pop out. A lemon leaf. Again, the green really pops out. Another lemon leaf. And some sour grass. So nothing's better for landscape lighting. And two, why did we allow incandescent and quartz halogen lights to stay? Those are still way less efficient than a mercury vapor light. So, please. Sign the petition, get the word out there. We need to counteract this. Hope you enjoy. Laters.